London. No. Well, actually, that's not quite true. The first 12 feet fit in the garage magnificently, <laughs> even though I can't actually get out of the car. But then there are two feet on the pavement. Yeah, you don't want that. And then the last three feet are on the road and get a parking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> and if I put the, ho the whole car on the road, you have to pay the council tax, obviously. Because it's a house, really. It is. The thing is, is it's not my sort of car. But then we do differ, don't That's we? That's why I like it. Yeah, Jeremy. exactly. <laughs> you just look at what I say and go, he's wrong. I looked I in have... Auto Trader and I thought, what wouldn't Jeremy buy out of all these cars? That one. Yeah, I that. respect that in a man. I really do. <laughs> you said in the film you have to rent a garage. Yeah. Well, how far away? I don't know, seven miles or so. <laughs> you rent a garage seven miles from your house. Mm. How do you get there, then? On my... Folding bicycle, obviously. <laughs> you are mad. You're s just clinically insane running a car like this. I think you may be missing an essential point, though, Jeremy. Comfy, though, but this sort of thing. Like this. this is the one with the firm suspension. Actually. No, is it really? Yeah, the it T is, is got, for firm suspension. It's got something rather preposterously called the Harvey Bailey handling kit. Harvey Bailey didn't know anything about suspension either, no. by the looks of things. Despite all that, I think, well, let's say. Of all the cars in this studio, this one is actually the cheapest. No, it's isn't it? the smart's isn't it? cheaper. That's 30. It's 500 pounds cheaper. You can have a smart. Okay, well, which doesn't do this. This would have been cheaper. <laughs> this would have been cheaper if I'd not felt sorry for the bloke who was selling it and haggled a bit more. That's a British got it disease. To, it is a British disease. Is, well, I feel really sorry car. for him. Yeah. Am I right in saying this car is so cool that most people, by which I mean Jeremy, don't realise it yet? Yeah. yeah. Okay, hands up if you think it's a cool car. Yes. Yeah. That's one, two, three. <laughs> and on that bombshell, let's do the news, shall we? And news first of two hot new Peugeots. The first of them is the new 206 GTI. It's 180 brake horsepower, which is quite a lot in a small car. 14,995 quid, which isn't bad. That is a hot little car. The second one, I can't quite understand this. It's a 206, it's another GTI, it's only the 138 brake horsepower one, slightly less powerful, but you'll notice it's an estate, a little tiny estate car. Now, that to me is pointless. More than that, it's a tragedy. I just that's, can't see why you'd need that in your life. That's what the French call idiotique. Yes. <laughs> Don't get it. Don't like it. I like it. Oh. Why? I like it because the 206 is a good car, we all agreed? Yeah, it is. Well, it's good hatch. 206 is a good car, you put a peppy little engine in it and the space for your dog. No, 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 no. You no, can no. get your dog in a hatchback. Oh, you can't. What if you've got a big dog, it won't go in a 206. No, hang on, hang on. A dog 